Henri Le Conte, it's a, it's a delight to have you join us. Um, Davis Cup is such a special competition for a player. Tell me about your experiences and how much you enjoyed playing Davis Cup for France. I mean, to play Davis Cup, it's uh, completely different than the regular tournament, even a Grand Slam. It's just a, just a commitment. I mean, you're playing for your own country. You have to do, you know, be at the best level at the end, and you have to assume all the perspective about the match and also the pressure, which is completely different because you're playing for with a team. And I always love to play Davis Cup because it was something different, a lot of surprise, a lot of great moments also, and it gives a lot of, sometimes it helps you to come back and play the best tennis after on the regular tour. We're speaking to you um, on the day of the reverse singles. What do you think the British players like Andy Murray and the Belgian players like David Goffin are going through knowing <laughs> that this first reverse singles could decide the cup? Yeah, that's, that's why Davis Cup is so it's magnificent. It's just unbelievable because you never know what's going to happen. Of course, then we believe that Andy Murray, because he's world number two, should win against David Goffin. But you never know. Look what I did against, you know, Pete Sampras. I would, Pete Sampras, okay. you know, you know Pistol Pit. I was 115 in the world, he was not world number three. And, you know, so it's because in Davis Cup, you never know. You play the at home, the Belgium, you know, and then if you have, you know, the match and it's too old, then the reverse would be maybe Bevelman, maybe Darcy will play because we don't know yet. And this is something quite unusual. So it's, it's always something, it's like, uh, you know, not like a movie, but it's like something, it's. Uh, in the theater, you don't know what's mm -hmm. going to happen, and if the it's thriller, the drama. Yeah, the thriller, drama, it's always nice. So you can feel it, especially when you've been playing Davis Cup. And the atmosphere in a Davis Cup match is there's nothing else like it in, in, in tennis, is there? It's nothing like like even a Grand Slam tournament. It's completely different because you have the team, because you're playing for your country, because it's you're not yourself. You play for them, so it's you feel it. Some of the players love to play Davis Cup. Some of the other one feel more pressure right. and they, they can't handle it. So it's just a great privilege to be there and you can feel it there with the crowd and it's pushing you all the time and sometimes you play even better. All right, I'm going to take you back to 1991 yeah. and that amazing performance and France defeating the United States, you were part of that team. Does that still come into your mind when you come to Davis Cup ties? And also, where have you kept your Davis Cup trophy? Uh, first of all, always, you know, when you're coming back, especially now here for the final, you always feel, you're always, always coming back, even if it's many, many, many years ago, but it's always a pleasure to be here and you feel it. And my Davis Cup trophy, I give it to Maxime, my son, oh, yeah. because that's why, you know, I say, Maxime, I want it, it is for you. And he has at home. And I still have, you know, the one that I lost in the final against you guys <laughs> in 82 in Grenoble. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> so I'm so happy, but it's still, you know, it's always, and it will be, and it will stay, and I hope, even if Davis Cup will change a little bit because they have to improve about the calendar and everything, but it will stay something unusual and special for the players, even, even the top guns, which is great. Henri, thanks very much for your time. It's a pleasure, my friend. Anytime.